Well, hello everyone again. Time to open the post again. I believe I know what this is. Yes. Three Arduino boards. These are Arduino nano boards. And I thought I would uh, get these. See if I can use them for building some test jigs. Those are smaller than I thought they would be. But the reason I got these is because it has the six pin header that I can connect to my Atmel ICE and program the chip without it being an Arduino if I wanted to do it that way, which I probably will. But in the meantime, I'll have to solder that up and hook this up and see how it works. Okay, I've got the board soldered up. Very strange board to solder. It just, it would not take solder. I, I had to just flux the hell out of it. That's F-U-L-X, just in case it doesn't come clear over the microphone here. I had to use the solder flux on it and really took a while to get the thing to take solder. So one thing that's kind of annoying is it uses this USB, the smaller USB, it doesn't use USB micro, it uses the mini. But the really annoying thing is the uh, actual Arduino Uno, which uses the old-fashioned USB. It would be nice if they all switched over to the USB mini or micro connectors, so the same one you use on your cell phone and things like that. So you can only carry, only have to worry about carrying one USB cable. Now I got to carry three USB cables, which kind of sucks. But at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't find the drivers for this CH340 board. It does not have an FTDI chip on it. I'm sure they got tired of uh, having to, uh, well I'm sure they cloned the FTDI chip, the Chinese did, and FTDI put a stop to that crap. So they switched over to this CH340 and we'll have to see how that works. Well now <coughs> you may wonder where to get the drivers for this 340 chip, the CH340. Uh, well, this kind of looks dicey to me, but it was on the page where I bought the board. You well, know, I buy the thing from China, and it brings me to a, looks like, Russian site. Yeah, that uh, fills me with a vote of confidence right off the bat. Yikes. I guess what I'll have to do is buck up and download the drivers. Uh, it looks like it's Windows, Linux, and Mac. We're going to go ahead and click Windows. And we'll just click Save File. Now I downloaded this driver here and uh, made a folder on my desktop for just a temporary folder to hold this thing so I can unzip it someplace and I'll just delete everything when it's done. I will leave a, a um, link below of where I found this. I make no, I make no uh, guarantees that uh, it isn't going to have spyware or it's key loggers or anything else with it. The crap comes from China and Russia, God only knows, but I have no idea where else to find this driver. I look, if you just type in the three, CH340 driver, you will get hundreds of web pages, and I guarantee you there are a lot of them I looked at were nothing, but they're going to add uh, like bloatware and all adware and all that crap to your computer. So I, this looks like the most legitimate one, so hopefully this will uh, work okay. Alright, I've got the zip file here unzipped. I just unzipped it to uh, this and now I'm gonna, it, this is the exe file 
And if we double click this, hopefully it'll get this thing installed properly. Now I'm just going to double click on this and install this driver. Looks like it was successful. Ah, great. Program might not have installed successfully. And they just want us to reinstall it if it didn't prog or it didn't go in successfully, which we won't know until we plug it in. I may click reinstall using recommended settings and see what that does. Don't know if that did anything or not, but I made that message go away, so I guess we'll just plug it in next and see if that works. All right, I've got the Arduino up here. What I'm going to need to do is to change this from the Uno board to the Nano board. Now, first of all, we've got to plug this thing in. All right, I got it plugged in. Go to the basic examples, get the blink. Sketch open. See if we can't upload this thing. Compiling a sketch. And we have an error message, of course. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording, see if I can't figure out what's going on here. Okay. I think I see the problem here. You see this uh, USB serial CH340 is on COM4. And this was looking for it on COM3. So I'm going to change the COM port on this thing. Port. There you go. Now we'll try it again. And successfully uploaded. And you can see the LED is blinking, so that worked. All right, I modified the sketch here. Did a little bit of a slow, a couple slow flashes and then some quick flashes. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that, see what that looks like. It flashes slow twice and then does 10 fast flashes. So that works. Now I'm going to drop over to Linux and see how it works with uh, Linux. All right, downloading the driver for Linux was a bit trickier than I thought. The original link that I left you was not working. Or the link was working, but the program just uh, proved to not work. So I went and did some searching online and found this website. I will leave the link to this website where you can find this file. But anyway, you download this to your downloads file. Okay, once you've downloaded it, you're going to want to put, you're going to see, find the uh, zip file here. You're going to extract it. I extracted it to uh, something called the 341 Linux, CH341 Linux. It is a 341 driver, but it does work with the 340 files. And what you're going to need to do is get a, you're going to be working with this make file here. I'll show you what that looks like. It's not really that big a deal. Here you're going to want to get the readme file open. All right, here's the readme text file. It tells you what to do here. Basically, you're going to go in to a terminal window and you're going to type in the word make. You're going to, that'll compile the the uh, driver, make load will load the driver. Make unload, you don't have to worry about what that does, unload the driver, we don't want to do that. So I will show you the next step here. Now the first thing you want to do is uh, you're going to have to use the make command. So if you don't have make installed, what you can do is just type in the word make. And it should come up by telling you there's no targets. If it doesn't come up with that, or if it's not installed, it'll usually tell you if it's not installed. I'm using Ubuntu Mate. And what if you don't have it, it's basically just you do the sudo apt-get make. Then you'll press, you'll press enter. I already have it installed here. And it'll go through, you'll enter your password and it'll go through and install make for you. It's not a big deal. And basically you're going to just um, 
go to you know you do an ls here and you're going to go to that ch341 that i made or whatever your file is that you uh did you're going to go Go ahead and change the directory to that. And when you get, <clears throat> once you get in uh, to your directory, then you'll use the word make. And it'll find the make file in there. It'll create the C file. I already did this, so I'm not going to do it. And then when you get done with that, you'll go back again, and you'll this time you'll say make load, and you press the enter key. This is all in the make file that they have, so you don't have to do anything else but that. And after you get done with that, it should be fine. It should your uh, Arduino board should start working for you and I'll demonstrate that next. All right I've got Arduino started here. What you need to do is come down here after you plug your Arduino board in you'll see that it's got this uh, USB 0. It doesn't tell you what's a 340 but that's what it is. You go down and select your Arduino Nano 328. That's what I've got or whatever board you have. And then we'll start, actually we'll open up the basic Blink sketch. I'll compile that and load it up. And you can see this has got a weird Blink pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and just load the regular Blink program into it so we can just see that it works. And I'll go ahead and make it and load in upload it. it's done uploading and you can see the regular blink pattern is back and it works so it does work on Linux as well just a little bit of extra messing around but it's really not that bad well that's it if you uh, buy one of these uh, Chinese made Arduino nano boards they're at a good price but they do have the CH340 USB to serial converter in them, which is a little bit of a pain in the neck, but I was able to look through the source code because they do give you the raw C code for Linux, and I didn't see anything uh, jumping out at me for that maybe they're sending, uh, they're installing a keylogger or anything. And I did a, just a quick look over the functions to see if there was anything sending any uh, data over the, out over the internet or connecting to the internet. I didn't see anything, but like I say, I'm not a security expert and uh, I'm not going to try and audit 1,200 lines of code in an afternoon. That's more like a day-long job. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up if you found it uh, useful to you and subscribe for more of this type of stuff. I do all kinds of nonsense. See you next time.